Okay, so we have two dice, and you take both, take the dice and you roll them, and I have two plus one. So I'm gonna write on my board, I'm gonna write two plus one. Can everybody see that? Two plus one, and then I count one, two, three. Two plus one is three. That's my answer, two plus one is three. Okay, then next I have, I'm gonna take four dice, cause I'm gonna do two two digit numbers. So I'm gonna roll two dice to get my first two digit. My first two digit number is 42, 42. So I'm gonna write 42. And then my second two digit number is 42. Mm, great job, Miss Sanders, 42. <laughs> So 42 plus 42, first I add my ones, two ones plus two ones is one, two, three, four. Then I add my tens, four tens plus four tens is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 42 plus 42 is 84. Now last, we're gonna do two three digit numbers. So first I'm gonna take three dice and I'm gonna roll them and I'm gonna make a three digit number. So my first number is 100 and, oh, I'm sorry, 135. So I'm gonna put 135. And then I wrote my second three digit three dice and the number is 612, 612. It sounds did good. So 612, first I started my ones place. Five ones plus two ones. One, two, three, four, five, six is seven ones. Three tens plus one ten. One, two, three, four tens. And one hundreds plus six hundreds is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundreds. So 135 plus 612 is 744. Try this at home, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, 747. I made a mistake, sorry. sorry. Hey everybody, we're going to do the same thing that Miss Sanders just did, but we're going to do it with playing cards. So if you have playing cards from the dollar store, you can use playing cards. Or if you don't, you can make your own cards using index with numbers on them. And that's what Miss Miller is going to do. So I'm going to do subtraction. So I'm going to make a number. So we're going to start off with nine subtract seven. So when we write it on our piece of paper, we do nine. Oop, I made a mistake. That's okay. So we go nine, subtract seven, and we can count up. We can go seven, eight, nine, which is two. Or you could just put on nine on your fingers and count back seven and get two. So let's do a two-digit number. So let's pick a number. You could say pick a number, any number. Miss Miller's gonna pick a three for the tens and a six for the ones. And then we will pick a, oh, we need a lower number. Let's see, we need a one in the tens and we can have a seven in the ones. So we have 36 subtract 17. And we always start in our ones. So we say six minus seven, do we have enough? No, we don't. So we need to go next door and get more. So we cross off the three, we take a 10 away, which gives us two. And we bring that 10 across and make it 16. 16 take away seven. So I go seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, nine. And two tens take away one 10. That gives me one 10. Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to do a counting coins activity with things that you can just find around your house. So I just found a little ball, a toy car, and a book from my classroom and what you can do with your parents is your parents can come up with different change amounts for each toy, random. So I made this ball 27 cents. Then you can either use real coins or you can draw your coins. So if I wanted to make 27 cents so I could buy this, I could either um, give my child a group of coins or they could draw it. So at first you could teach them to draw two dimes and seven pennies. And then you could talk about 
using the least amount of coins possible. So two dimes and seven pennies is 27 cents, but a better way to you to make 27 cents would be a quarter and two pennies. But either way, it's still 27 cents. Um, I like to do this activity with my own students for real in the classroom because it gives them a chance to see the different ways to add their coins and the values and they get practice with identifying the coins because that's a big part of second grade is knowing that a quarter is 25 cents and a penny is one cent, a nickel is five cents and a dime is 10 cents. And so I would just continue that for the car and the book. I would draw the amount. So a car is 35 cents. So then I need a quarter and a dime because that makes 35 cents. Okay, that's all. Thank you.